I'm Mir here, I study mechanical engineering and I am an engineering technology intern at Rolls-Royce. One of the main reasons I chose Rolls-Royce was to experience firsthand the world-class engineering, innovation and creativity that the company is so renowned for. So far during my time here I've been a part of two different teams and to have worked at Rolls-Royce during some of the world's biggest trends such as the energy transition and digitalization has made for a really enjoyable and insightful internship. Currently I'm working on a sustainability project as part of the Emerging Capabilities team. I'm investigating how Rolls-Royce can transition away from what we call a linear economy and towards what we call a circular economy. A linear economy is the traditional linear value chain, often referred to as take, make, waste. Resources are taken from Earth, made into products, and at the end of life, everything is either dumped into landfill or incinerated as waste. And this destroys a lot of the value that was built up in those previous steps. But what if we wanted to capture some of this lost value? Well, that's where a circular economy comes in. A circular economy creates loops in our traditional linear value chain. Loops such as reusing, repairing, refurbishing and recycling. In adopting these circular principles, we can decouple environmental burden from economic growth and ultimately propel us towards a more sustainable future. Sustainability is a super exciting topic to me. It's one of the things which, coming into this internship, I knew I wanted to work on. Being sustainable means reducing our impact on the environment, but it also means improving the lives of people and society. And these two things which go hand in hand are really important to me. With respect to Rolls-Royce, sustainability is a massive topic. By nature, the defence industry has a substantial environmental footprint. And this is a challenge for sure, but it's also an opportunity. An opportunity to help us and our customers achieve a sustainable energy transition. It's great to see the work that we're already doing to embrace this challenge and I'm very grateful to have played a small part in it.